kids, welcome back. I'm here again, Mrs. Amy Sevilla, your English teacher. We are now in Module 2 for Quarter 3. Before we will proceed, please be reminded of the rules to be followed while using your module. Open your module on page 1. Let us read the overview of the content that you will take up in this module. Let's read the introduction. Young as you are, there were already times when you had to make a choice. This starts with simple things like choosing what to wear, what to do, or what to say. Sometimes, decisions need to be made at the spur of the moment. Though simple, these choices also require the right information. In choosing what to wear, for example, you need to know where you are going or what is the occasion. You cannot wear just anything when going to school, right? Making choices on more serious matters requires more attention. Nonetheless, there will be times when you will be asked to make a stand. Can you do it? It may be scary at first, but you can do it. Yes, making a stand needs practice. It is a skill. This module will help you learn that. To check your prior knowledge of the content to be discussed, I want you to answer the pre-test. For letter A, read its sentence carefully. Write true if you agree or false if you do not. For letter B, put yourself in these situations. What will you do? Write your answers to its given questions in your notebook. Now, let's read the target or the objectives. These are what you're going to develop through the lessons in this module. Now, at the end of the module, you will be able to make a stand, provide evidence to support opinion or fact, and characterize weather disturbances in the Philippines and describe their effects in daily life. Lesson 1. Optimize. Recall your lesson on fact and opinion when you were in grade 4. Which of the following statements are facts and which are opinions? There are five sentences below. Now remember that a fact is something that can be proven as true, while an opinion is an expression of what one believes. It may be or may not be true. Now, let's read sentence number one. The Philippines is an archipelago. This sentence is an example of a, okay, a fact. Very good. Because we can prove it through maps and globes. Number two. The Philippine is in Southeast Asia. Okay, still a fact. We can prove it by reading the maps and globes and other books. Number three. It is better to swim in a pool than in the open sea. This sentence is just an opinion. It cannot be proven as true to all the people. Some people like to swim in a pool. Some people like to swim in the sea. Now let's proceed for number four. All children like to eat chocolate. This sentence is a, oh, an opinion, correct? Because not all children like to eat chocolate. Some children do not like to eat sweet foods. Number five, chocolate comes from cacao. This sentence is a fact. This can be proven by reading some books. At times, you may be asked to talk about a topic. For this, 
You need to make a choice between two sides and state your own opinion. Where do you stand on these topics? Read its question on the next slide. Take a choice and place a check to mark your choice. Think aloud. Explain to yourself why you say so. Write your answers in your notebook. Here are the topics. First, watching television or reading a book. Which side do you choose? Next, sleeping early or playing till late at night. What will you choose? And the last, eating fish or meat? Okay, are you done? Now, what did you do before you answer this question? How did you come up with your answer? Do you know that when you made a choice and expressed your opinion, you were already making a personal stand? Now continue exploring this topic. Now open your module on page 4. Let's navigate. A girl shared her opinion about what boys should learn to do. Read what she says and say what you think. Now, the title of the selection is, Don't You Think So, Too? This is by R. L. Mendoza. Once I saw a girl helping her family flip their house. With her goggles and gloves, she carried the old wood out of their house. And she was doing a good job. If girls can do that, can boys not do some sewing too? Well... Everybody has to learn how to sew, even simple stitches. Our clothes get ripped at some time anyway. So, ang atong mga sinina, pwedeng magisi anytime. That is when we need to know turning. Sewing is not a difficult thing to learn. So, boys should also learn sewing in their TLE class. Should they not? Sewing is fun anyway. All of us can learn cross-teaching, hem-teaching, and even attaching buttons. Sewing is not only for girls. Firstly, we all experience having our clothes ripped. Now, what will boys do if their shirts get torn and there is nobody around to mend them? So, gisi na ilang sinina, din wala makatabang nila, and they don't know how to do it. Should they wait for their mothers or sisters to do it? What if they do not come on time? Secondly, boys must not be ashamed to be seen sewing. So, what if others see them sewing? The action does not make them less of being boys. Thirdly, some boys would like to sew. Sometimes, they sew better than girls. In fact, there are so many good sewers who are men. There are famous fashion designers. Boys and girls' hands are the same. Definitely, both can hold a needle and thread it. Even boys should learn how to sew. We will all need to sew our own turn clothes. Don't you think so? Now, let's answer the questions below orally. For number one, what is this selection about? Okay, it is about learning to sew. How about you, children? Kabalo ba mumutahi sa inyo ang clothes? Number two, what is the author telling you? The author is saying that boys should also learn how to sew. Okay, number three. How did the author try to make you share this opinion? Yes, the author says that boys can hold needles, can mend their own clothes, and that some men are good at this job. Now, for number four. What does the author want you to do? The author wants us to agree with his 
opinion. Okay, do you agree? Now let's have question number five. Do you agree that boys and girls should learn to sew and take care of their clothes by themselves? Uh, right. For number five, six, and seven question, write it in your notebook. When you gave your opinion, you made a stand. To make a stand is to take a position on an issue or a concern. The issue in the selection is about learning how to sew. The two sides of the issue are whether boys should learn how to sew or not. The author's opinion is that even boys should learn to sew. This is the stand the author is taking. At the end of the selection, the author wants you to make a stand. So, which of the two sides will you choose? Is it good for the boys and girls to learn how to sew or only girls should learn how to sew? Okay, now, what is your opinion about the following look at below page five of your module read each one and move the slider under the number that shows your opinion now let's read number one children should watch television only on weekends now do you definitely agree or Definitely disagree. Number two. Children should help their parents on weekends. Number three. No assignment should be given on weekends. Number four. Only girls should learn how to cook. And number five. Boys do not need to learn how to wash their own clothes. In making a stand, you need to have a clear understanding of the issue. Kinang lang makasabot ka, makabalo ka unsa ang issue before mo hatag ka sa imong opinion or sa imong stand. Study the following situations again. This time, Analyze and identify the issue in each situation. Now let's answer this orally, children. Number one situation. Children should watch television only on weekends. What is the issue? For example, children watching television on weekdays. Number two. Children should help their parents on weekends. What is the issue? Children helping their parents on weekends. Number three, no assignments should be given on weekends. What is the issue? Giving of assignments on weekend. Number four, only girls should learn how to cook. So what is the issue? Learning to cook is for girls only. Number five. Boys do not need to learn how to wash their own clothes. What is the issue? Boys washing their own clothes. Lesson two. Supporting your opinion. Optimize. Recall what you learned in the previous lesson. Let's complete the sentences below orally. Number one, to make a stand is to express what? Okay, what one believes or one's opinion to something. Very good. Number two, before you can make a stand, you should first what? Yes, know the issue and decide you will take. Very good. Number three, there are always two sides to an issue. These are what? 
Yes, to agree or to disagree on something. And number four, when expressing your stand orally, your voice should? Yes, your voice should be clear and loud enough to be heard. And the last, your body should what? Yes, your body should be erect, but at ease. Very good. Capture. You know that making a stand requires you to share with others what you believe in. Although you will be sharing your opinion, it is also right that your opinion is based on what is true. This is because others will listen to you, and wrong information may be passed on them if you do not verify your opinion. Now, which of the following phrases do you think are reliable sources of information? Write a check if it is a reliable source of information, and X if it is not. Now, number one. According to my friend, yes, X, it is not a reliable source. Number two, based on my observations, still not a reliable source of information. Number three, newspaper reports say that, okay, check. It is a reliable source of information. Number four, weather forecasters warn that a check is a reliable source of information. And number five, some say that, okay, X, it's not a reliable source of information. Good job. Navigate. Read the article below. What does this article prove about the Filipino? Now, the title of this article is The Yolanda Tragedy. And this is written by R.L. Mendoza. Now, this article is made up of how many paragraphs? Let's count. All right, it's made up of six paragraphs. Now, I want you to read this article silently and be ready to answer orally the questions that follow. Now, are you done reading? Are you ready to answer the questions now? Now, let's answer some of the questions orally and some will be written in your notebook. Number one question. How can you describe the typhoon Yolanda? Yes, it was a typhoon that was already a cyclone. It brought very strong winds and heavy rainfall. Number two, what were the effects of this weather disturbance? Okay, yes, houses, telephone lines, and almost all things on land were destroyed. Now, number three. How did the people react to this unfortunate event? Okay, yes. At first, people felt down. But, after some time, they found the courage to start again. Okay, for questions... Now, uh, 4, 5, and 6, I want you to write the answers in your notebook. Enrich. An issue is something important that affects people. Whether you play basketball or not is a personal thing and is important only to you. However, when children watch television on weekdays, their time for homework and family is affected. This is an issue that may find true in their lives. After knowing the issue, the next thing to ask is, what is the problem? This will make you see the two sides of the issue. 
It is just like seeing the two sides of a coin. In regard to the issue of children watching television on weekdays, the two sides are should it only be for a short time or should the children be allowed to watch television as much as they want? Identifying the two sides will help you clearly see where to stand. Guided Activity 1 So study these issues and write the two sides of the issue in your notebook. Number 1 is already answered. Okay, the issue for number 1. Posting whatever photo you want on social media. So almost all of us na natay Facebook nowadays. Now, side 1. Posting whatever you want. Side 2. Selecting carefully what you post. So, these are the two sides of the first issue. Now, all you have to do for the second issue is just the same. You're going to write the two sides also. And I want you to do this in your notebook. For the next activity, Independent Activity 1, copy the shapes shown below in your notebook. Think of some issues that concern your school or community and write this on the lines. So the issues are written on the lines. Then write the two sides of its issue in the oblongs. This time, you will be the one to think of an issue and you are going to write also the two sides of that issue inside the oblong. Is that clearly understood? Very good. For guided activity 2, once you have seen the two sides of an issue, you now can say what you believe. You can make a stand. Which of the two sides do you believe in or agree with? Now, when you make your stand, you can start with the following expressions. Example, I believe that, for me, I think, yes, I agree. However, if what has been said is against what you believe, you can use these expressions. I don't think so. I don't believe that. In contrast, I or I beg to disagree, but okay. Guided Activity 3 When you make a stand and write your opinion about an issue, you are writing an informational text called an argumentative essay. In an argumentative essay, the writer gives his or her stand on an issue. He or she explains why he or she agrees with it by giving several reasons and evidence just like when one makes a stand. In making your stand, you inform your listeners or readers of the facts that are related to your claim or belief. You can support your opinion when doing this. That is the reason you need to have supporting details for the site you have chosen. Supporting opinions can be done by gathering information about the issue. However, you must first know what information you need. Now look at the image below. Look at the boy and the girl. What are in the call outs? They are the pieces of information you need to look into to make a stand on the issue of a total log ban. By knowing this information, you can look for supporting details to make your stand sound more convincing. Now add two more pieces of information you will need in addition to those given above. For guided activity 4, 
You now need to put together the details you have gathered to make your stand more understandable. The information and the ideas should be arranged logically. Study how ideas on the issue of log bun are arranged below. Now look at this. There are three very important parts. Remember, these are the introduction, the body, and the closing. So what is to be written in the introduction? So this is what can I say about the issue and what is my stand about it? How about the body? Yes, the facts about the issue. Letter A, what does a total log ban mean? Letter B, what are the good and the bad effects of a total log ban? Letter C, how will a total log ban be beneficial or bad to the people? Letter D, how can my stand be good for the people and the province? And the last for the closing, why am I taking this stand? Independent Activity 4 As you can see, there are three parts in a written text to make your stand. In the introduction, you will begin by talking about the issue and saying which side you are taking. Next, in the body, you will give the information that will support your belief. And lastly, in the closing, you will summarize your position. Now, I want you to go back to the lesson 1 in Navigate. I want you to read again the selection. Don't you think so too? Now, you're going to analyze and then use the given questions below. Write your answers to the questions in your notebook again. Now, guide questions for you in making your paragraph. So, introduction. How was it written? What is the issue? What is the stand of the writer? Body. What reason did the writer give? What evidence could have been presented? And the closing, how did it end? Okay, you have already the tools you need to be able to make a stand. And I guess you are now ready. Go through each step here so you can write your stand about an issue that concerns your community. Write the answers in your notebook. So start here. So don't forget the guide questions that we have read a while ago. And finally, the focus. To make a stand is to share what you believe in with other people. Therefore, when you express yourself, you should appear confident and convincing. Your voice, choice of words, and the way you carry your body will tell your listeners what you feel toward your stand. It is also important to know the issue, the side you are taking, information about it, and how you will deliver what you think. Putting your stand into writing will lead you to develop an argumentative essay. This text will make your readers see clearly what your claim is and your reason for believing it. However, it is important to do some research to support your stand with facts and other evidence. Now let's apply. Choose the topic from those given below. Make a stand and write an essay to express it. Use the rubric to evaluate your work. Now, these are the three topics and you're going to choose only one. First topic, cheating in schools. Second, bringing mobile phones in schools. And the third, for the school year to be from September to June. Okay, good luck children. And now, to evaluate how much you have learned from the lessons in this module, I want you to answer the post-test in your answer sheet. And for the self-check, now you're going to give three things you learned in this lesson that will help you a lot. 
give two things that you want to improve on in yourself that is related to this lesson. And the last, give one thing that you still would like to learn and more about in this lesson. So until here only, I hope you can make your stand wisely now. Bye! See you again next time!